Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're gonna take a look at some Colossus gameplay. So this first fight here is in Variant 2. Colossus is actually quite good for Variant 2. All right, now this fight, you see it had Bane, so that was a little bit annoying, but these are the global nodes you have to deal with. Basically, because Colossus is a size large, his regular attacks can be glanced, but his heavy attacks cannot be glanced and his specials cannot be glanced. That's perfect because the way you want to fight Colossus is you want to parry and heavy, like you saw there. Build up to a special two, parry, heavy, and then fire off your special two right in the middle of the heavy attack so that you get that fury that you see up there for a few seconds. That way your special two will hit much, much harder. All right, so you can see he's just tearing up this hood. Now, this is the only fight that I recorded for this. I just wanted to show you guys that he is viable for variant two. All right, he's viable for quite a few things, but variant two, he would help you out a lot. All right, so the next fight, uh, I don't go into this next fight here. Uh, I decided not to use up that energy. Uh, anyway, this next fight is against Havoc, and this is in Act 6.1.6. .6. And this Havoc, you had one fight straight up the middle. Uh, you had to fight one opponent, and then you fight him. And you saw that Hurt Locker. Uh, so you just don't want to uh, fire off the same special twice. All right, so you're gonna see in this fight where I could fire off a special two, and I don't. But what makes Colossus so great against Havoc is because of his armor up buffs. With armor up buffs, it doesn't matter. You saw how many plasmas got on Colossus, but the detonation did absolutely nothing. No damage. That's what makes Colossus a great counter for Havoc. All right, now you see that two up there. That means the next time I fire off a special two, I'm gonna get this delayed blast and it's gonna hurt unless I fire off a, a heavy uh, before it times down, not fun. So you're gonna see I'm almost to a special two here, right? And you see that right there? I fired off that special one because I didn't wanna fire the special two because of Hurt Locker. I was fortunate he recovered quickly and blocked me, but didn't punish me. So I actually got pretty lucky there. All right, and now we're just gonna do that dance, trying to get him to fire off that special two. He didn't seem to wanna do it. There we go, he finally did. It's unblockable, doesn't matter, I can evade it. All right, and so now I can fire off a special two without too much difficulty. So now I need to get a parry. And he is very difficult to parry. All right, so I just did this right here because his special two is unblockable. So I knew I was gonna catch him a little bit. I should have waited until I had him in the corner a little bit, but I was in a little bit of a hurry. I was delaying my live stream trying to get this uh, final footage in here. All right, but that's the fight. So this last fight is against the crossbones in 6.1.5 that most difficult boss. A lot of people consider him the most difficult boss in here. This was by request. It's the main event of the video. When I first went through this, I had to use Corvus and I used a few revives, like three or four revives. Iceman can do it very, very slow. All right, now Colossus is bleed immune, so he's great for biohazard. He's not poison immune, but you can play around that by just not hitting into their block. And so let's see how Colossus does against this crossbones. I never wanna hold you back I wanna give 
give you every chance to make it, to make it. I'm afraid if our love collides, you'll leave me alone tonight. Cause I'm changing and I'm breaking. Is this over? I'm scared to ask these questions cause I know. Just like that. 